all born creative. All of us. You know, there's, there's something that's, uh, studies have been done with kids. And they ask kids at the age of five or six, they give them some cranes and some paper, and they ask them, could you draw me a spaceship? And these kids will draw something that looks like crap and hand it to you with complete pride. There you go. I did that. If you ask kids at the age of eight to do exactly the same thing, they'll be like, hold on, what, what, what do you mean by that? What, but they're better at drawing than me. I don't know what you want. What, what you? And, and we start to get layers of fear. And people often ask me, how do you make people more creative? And I tell them I don't. I make people less uncreative. Because we all start creative. We all have the ability. But layers of fear come on. And they stop us from expressing ideas. And you know, as we stop expressing our ideas because we're worried about what other people think, it means that the muscle in here that comes up with ideas gets weaker and weaker. And then we just stop. And it's a shame. I always feel a little bit sad when people in companies say, oh, no, not me. I'm not creative. And I, I feel a bit sad that people the reason for that is fear. I'm scared to say what I think. I'm scared to express my opinion. So what happens is some people, this idea of being born creative is nonsense. I would say that some people might have a little bit of advantage in the wiring of their brain. In the same way as athletes, some people have better bodies for sprinting. Look at me, I'm, I've, I, am, I have not got a sprinter's body. So some people have got a better wiring in their brain, but that doesn't give them that much advantage. It's attitude, it's hard work, counts for more than any of the wiring in the brain. But what happens is over time, you get your brain and all these little layers of fear start to put blockages until people feel that they can't actually express any ideas at all because of all these layers of fear that they learn over time. So one of the things that I do with companies is I knock down those barriers and take people into an environment where they can actually come up with ideas. They can be free to express their ideas. And the more they do it, the better they get.